Hey guys, I want to address a little uh, issue that some people have uh, when they're putting these kits together. This applies to any of the bent rim kits. That would be the Minstrel Americana and Cello Banjo kits. Um, people are sending me pictures and telling me that there's a gap between the dowel and where it meets the rim here. And um, I want to explain how you can probably fix this issue or reasons for this issue. Um, so first, if you have a, if you can see all the way through, I would say that's, um, I would not ship it out the door in like this. Um, so there's probably, I would, I don't want to say user er error, but there's probably something you can do to fix that and probably something you did incorrectly when you were putting it together. So this black screw, it kind of fits tight into the rim. So if you start the screw into the dowel and there's any gap, that gap will exist even if you tighten the screw. So you have to make sure that the uh, dowel is sitting flush on the rim before you start tightening that screw. Okay, now this, this kit does not have any uh, problems, but uh, let's say you do get a kit and you end up with a gap like that. You can't see all the way through it, it's because the dowel is just not cut to match the exact uh, shape of the rim. Um, if the dowel is still making contact with the rim when you put the screw in, you could probably close this gap just by tightening the screw. But even if you can't, I would say this is still, um, still usable, not a problem. Um, I agree, cosmetically, there is a small issue, but I don't see it as a problem and I wouldn't even try to fix something like that if you end up um, with that kind of a gap. Now if you have a big gap, yes, you probably would want to uh, figure out how to fix it. Another problem or another reason you might have a gap here is if you attach the neck to the dowel and then the neck is resting against the rim and not letting you pull the dowel all the way in. So you might have to, uh, if you have a gap here and you've tried everything else I already said, you might have to uh, loosen these screws and then the neck will slide out at, at least a sixteenth of an inch. You, you can adjust the neck a tiny bit onto the dowel. So that should close uh, the gap if you do all the things I told you. Um, as part of my process when I uh, prepare these kits for shipping, I uh, put every banjo together just like this and I trim this and sand it for the best fit possible. I always try to um, have the best fit. I can't guarantee like it's going to be perfect. Um, I have time constraints and uh, this is an inexpensive banjo and it is a kit so you must have do some final finish work with it but um, I think that covers all those problems oh and another thing um, I say this in my assembly videos and I say this in my instructions but I still have people that don't realize this if you put your banjo together and the strings are too high off the neck, you don't need to change out the bridge. You don't need a different bridge. You need to change the angle the neck sits on the rim. So if you angle the neck downward like this, the strings will sit closer to the fingerboard. If you angle the neck up like this, the strings will sit higher and higher off the fingerboard. Uh, the easiest way to change this 
is to just loosen your black screw, take your neck out, and look at where this hole is on the end of the dowel. Uh, I encourage you to pre-drill the hole uh, with like a 1 16th or 1 8th inch drill bit. And if you want to lower the strings, you want to increase the angle of the neck, and you want to drill a new hole lower, um, really just below. I, you, a very small a change here will make a, a big difference in the string action. So then with that new hole, tighten everything back up and then your strings will sit closer to the fingerboard. Hope that helps a little bit. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and check out my, my uh, other assembly videos here on YouTube and they're also posted on every banjo kit page at carverbanjos.com. Check out all my do-it-yourself banjo kits. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.